Okay, no more. No more students are going to struggle with the fourth type of shock. That's my goal with this video. Welcome to Quick Tips. Now, cardiogenic shock means that it's the heart's fault. What that means is your patient is in shock due to a heart pump problem. It could be an MI and the heart muscle is dying, so the heart fails as a pump, so eventually you go into cardiogenic shock, right? You could have a Big event, when we're talking about congestive heart failure. So the heart fails the pump due to the heart being too weak, then we can't pump blood, cardiogenic shock. Now, obstructive shock, our second type of shock, what that is, is a blood flow issue. So cardiac tamponade will squeeze around the heart so it fails the pump. It's a flow issue, not the heart's fault, it's the tamponade's fault. Tension pneumothorax, right? Not the heart's fault, but it, it's stopping and putting pressure on the heart. It's a blood flow issue. Pulmonary embolism, that's gonna block an artery, the blood flow issue, right? That's obstructive shock. Now the third, which has three types, is distributive shock. Okay, it's very important, three types. Sepsis, neurogenic, anaphylaxis. Very quickly, sepsis, systemic infection in the bloodstream, that's bad. Anaphylaxis, two or more body systems are being affected by an hour, you have an allergic reaction. That's not good. Neurogenic deals with brain and spinal cord, okay? Now the fourth piece is your classic shock, that's hypovolemia, hypovolemic. So, it could be a real bad trauma, or don't forget, it could just be fluid loss, like severe dehydration. Right here are your four types of shock. My friends, that was Quick Tips with the Paramedic Coach. Make sure to like, comment, share this video, Share it with your classmates. My mission is to make sure that no student out there struggles with these four types. I'll see you next time.